Hey guys, welcome back to candle review number two of the day. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review of Yankee Candles Munich Christmas Market. I will link that review down below in the description box if you need to go back and watch it in case you missed. But for this next review, we are discussing another Yankee new holiday scent from the Passport to Holidays collection. And this one is Parisian Holiday Brunch. I will just go ahead and warn you, if you are wanting a really good positive review, you should probably go watch the Munich one because this Parisian holiday brunch, um, I'm going to be, you know, constructive and not, um, you know, rude about this candle, but I have to be honest with my opinions on it, which are not super great. So, um, as always, I will be constructive and, um, honest, but just not a big fan of this candle and um, yeah, I just have to be honest about it. So I've also heard some uh, things about this one from some of you as well. Um, so I feel like this might be a super controversial candle in the candle community right now. So if you have any opinions on it, I want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, I will link this down below in case you are interested. I feel like if you're not able to get to a local Yankee store or any of the other retailers that sell Yankee, um, maybe try going to the Yankee Candle website and getting this one in a small tumbler or a mini filled votive because it's just such a interesting scent that I feel like you should probably get something smaller before committing to the large jar. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend doing that. I will link the website down below for the link to this one. So check out the description box, but let's go ahead and get into the fragrance here. So this says this is a fruity fragrance. Um, I would agree. This is definitely a cross between fruity and gourmand. All right, so the fragrance description on this one reads, be swept away to a dreamy bakery in Paris filled with the fragrance notes of buttery croissants, raspberry preserves, fig, and brown sugar. Your top notes here are orange, rhubarb jam, and fig spread. Your middle notes are buttery croissant, cookie butter, brown sugar. Your base notes here are creamy coconut, raspberry preserves, and vanilla. All right, so I definitely feel like this has a berry croissant as the base of the fragrance. I do definitely get that flaky bakery croissant type smell in here like it smells like there is croissants baking in the oven you smell that butteriness from them you smell the flakiness like you just get an authentic croissant which i really like but then i think maybe what makes this scent go wrong is the raspberry or the berry note that you're getting in here i have noticed that yankee kind of struggles with berry in my opinion i feel like for the past couple of berries since that they've released, I've just not been a huge fan. For example, Mary Berry from Yankee, not a huge fan of that one. Um, I do like Berry Licious from Yankee, if y'all remember that one, but I just feel like a lot of the berry scents that Yankee has done lately, I'm just not a fan of. I don't like Berry Trifle. So maybe it's just me not loving Yankee Candles take on Berry, but I feel like that's kind of my issue with this one. I feel like I also get this kind of weird like vanilla smell in here and I normally love vanilla but the way that it's in here just something for me does not smell right and I just feel like the combination of these gourmand notes which normally I would think I would love but something about the way that it all comes together just does not work in my opinion um I kind of liked it on cold I kept going back and forth but after burning this one, obviously I burned it a good amount. I feel like I just know that I really don't like this one. The way that it smells when it's burning to me is even worse than it does on cold. And it just to me is kind of gross smelling. And I hate to say that, like I don't want to be annoying or rude um, because everybody has different fragrance preferences. I mean, someone out there might love this one. And just because I don't like it doesn't mean you won't. But for me, this just smells super weird when I'm burning it, to be honest. And it's not something that I will re be repurchasing. <clears throat> I do feel like I might be able to finish this one. I don't know. I might actually put this in my crock. Not that I want to elongate it, but I just kind of want to get it out of the, um, like, 
burning lineup. I feel like I need to move on from this one, to be honest. So I feel like I might just retire this one to the candle crock um, to see how it does there. Maybe I'll enjoy it more, but I highly doubt it because I just really am not a big fan. And I've heard a lot of people say that they had a really bad experience with this one. And my coworkers are like making fun of this scent. This one, everybody kind of thinks it's gross. So it's just funny. Um, I don't see this one being a hit and I feel like this one probably will not come back around, but I do applaud Yankee for trying. I never want to, you know, hate on a fragrance too much because someone out there may love it. And so, you know, if that is you, then own this candle. There are a lot of scents that a lot of people do not like and I love. So we all have our different fragrance tastes. Um, in terms of the burn and performance on this one, it's doing great. Same kind of experience with the... Um, with the Munich Christmas Market, this one has got a really great clean burn. There's been no issues at all. The wicks have been doing good. I would say that these wicks are a little bit tinier than I have had with the Munich Christmas Market. Hence why this one is burning a little bit slower and those wicks do look a little bit smaller. I will go ahead and give y'all um, an overhead view just to show you how that burn is doing. Um, doing good. Those wicks are a little bit small, but I think that they'll probably come back to life in a couple burns. But so far, it's been a pretty good burn experience. In terms of the strength and throw for this one, I would put it kind of right around the same strength and throw as the Munich Christmas Market. I kind of agree also saying that this one kind of has pockets of fragrance, kind of like I said, with that Munich Christmas Market. This one has been kind of strong during certain burns, and then during other burns, it's been a lot lighter. Um, I don't know why that is. I think it might have to do with like pockets of oil in the candles. Maybe Yankee needs to kind of do better at mixing their candles. I'm not really sure what it is, but I do feel like on some burns, this one has been stronger than others. So that's kind of interesting, but I would say it's probably right around like a six and a half, seven at most. I wouldn't really say it goes higher than that, but I'm honestly okay without strength and throw because I don't really think I would want anything stronger than that just because I don't like it when it's burning. So I'm good with this one being a little bit more on the lighter end or just at least like a medium. Um, so yeah, that is my thoughts here. Sorry for a negative review. Um, I will be finishing off with a positive review in my next one. Um, well, positive in some ways, negative in others, I guess. There are um, some performance issues happening with that one. So you'll see what I mean when you watch that one. But um, yeah, that is it for Parisian Holiday Brunch. If you've tried this and you um, have any opinions on it, I want to hear your comment. And you know what? If you love it, I dare you to be bold and step out and comment down below that you like this one. I think that that is completely okay. And I Love to see everybody's different fragrance preferences. So let us know your opinions down below in the comments. Um, but thank you so much for watching this review. Please like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see y'all in the final review a little bit later on today. See you then. Bye.